it looks like the players there are just getting their last bit of kit checks. The uh, Team England guys are already crowning the jam line. I think they're, they're going to stage their little meeting on the jam line so they can start off in a good position. That's where the gamesmanship is starting early for the English experienced skaters. The Netherlands here have a lot of uh, less experienced skaters than the English. I mean, they, they're much newer uh, to the world of the men's game anyway. I was speaking to uh, a couple of the Dutch skaters knocking around earlier today. And apparently, uh, even though it's one of the largest cities, Amsterdam is actually contributing the least amount of players right now. Only one uh, male skater, I believe, is being just coming from Amsterdam. Uh, that's oh, quite okay. interesting, considering yeah, that, that, that London obviously is the greatest component here. Let's say a sudden discomfort roll derby, that is, for Team England. Again, largest city, you'd expect it to be the other way around for the, uh, the Dutch here today. Looks like we've got the lines up on the track. I think that is M16 Ballistic Whistle lining up for, yes, it is indeed for England there at the jam line. For those of you listening on the feed, we don't actually have a view of the back of the jam line, so we will be trying to get the jam information through to you as quickly as we can. Though I can see that it is obviously starting on a four on four here as we're the first game or the first jam of the game. But it looks like the, yeah, the English have the back line here up against the, the Dutch. Chemical trying to burst through and make some space as Ballistic Whistle steals around on the outside and takes the lead jammer. It looks like for the Netherlands we've got untitled Russian who is wearing the star trying to get through that England defence. He uh, was knocked out of play there by Spectral on the outside and Spectral now running back and dragging back the full 40 feet. Uh, Ballistic Whistle there is on his first scoring pass. Oh, penalty track, uh, very penalty called there. A cut track called by Jammer Cherry Fury. Give the, the Netherlands here a good chance to pick up a lead here. Yeah, it looks as though Untitled Russian is trying to get through that England defence. A really good opportunity straight away for the Netherlands to put some points up on that board. Well, I know Team England have been working a lot on their defence. That is showing here straight away as Untitled Russian has just basically spent 30, maybe 30 seconds or so just trying to get through the pack there and it's just about made it now as Spectral is called there for out of play blocking. Untitled Russian here is now going up against Chemical. Chemical's close. I haven't to let him go there. Dog slipped on corner one, unfortunately, and was unable to keep that position. Points on the board to the Netherlands here early doors. Uh, England yet to score as of yet. An untitled Russian coming up again on the back of the pack. Sutton Impact trying to knock him off that inside line, but was not successful, so he gets through for another five-point pass. Sutton Impact there was baiting untitled Russian onto the inside line. As he was baiting him in there, he tried to hip-check him off the track, but couldn't get it down effectively. But Ballistic Whistle comes out sneakily from the Royal Derby City penalty box and straight through the pack for a five-point pass, as indicated there by the jammer. Meanwhile, on top of Russian, gets knocked out to the inside and is fed back to the back of the pack again. Ballista Whistle straight through again with ease. The, the, the Dutch seem to have forgotten how to defend here as Ballista Whistle is just dancing through. I say dancing, that's how he just pulled straight through, rolling reckless there. Good recovery there from the England jammer, actually gaining the lead there. Looks like, yep, 15 points to 10. Even serving a middle in the penalty box, keeping lead. It's, it's quite impressive to see that. Good recovery from the England jammer. Absolutely, yes. Ballistic whistle there is one of the main jammer rotation for England, so I expect we'll see some more points being put on the board by him before this game's out. OK, looks like the penalty box has had some business there. The Royal Derby City penalty box been picking up. Yep, it is a 3-2 blocker advantage to Team England. Let's see what they can do here. Yep. Sully there for Team England, number 17, is your lead jammer. As Johnny B. Rude is struggling at the back of the pack to get past Rolling Stoner and Jerry Atrick. Knocked down to the inside there by Rolling Stoner, who has to gain something at the back of the pack, and he's going straight back into reanimated GIF from Rolling Stoner. Meanwhile, Sully's already broken through the pack, gets that jammer lap point for five points. Uh, Spectral Aberration there came onto the track and had to go straight back off, unfortunately. He's back in the Royal Derby City penalty box there as Sully is picking up all the points. He's just skating laps there as the England jammer. Jolly B. Reed, however, finally breaking free of that pack. But he is half a track behind him, so Sully has a chance to pick up all the points and still call it clean, which he does so. It's like I was whispering in his ear. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here on the Quad Skate Shop track, and that's the Europe's original brick and model roller derby equipment supply. Quad Roller Skate Shop has the best selection of most stock of any store on the continent. With excellent consultation services only a fella skater could provide, we've got all your needs covered. We love this game, that's Quad Skate Shop. And we are on their track today. Okay, everyone's lined up 
at the jam line again. It's three on three by the looks of things for the blockers. Sutton impact there, marshalling his blockers at the front of the pack. Big push there from Ben Van Hurt, who's pushed off outside by Dog there. Meanwhile, Rex Tangle pushing that Netherlands defense out the front and gets through for Lee Jammer. This is an all crash test Brummy jam here. This is always quite nice to see. Crash test Brummies are being represented by both the jammers here. Uh, Rex Tangle and Ben Van Hurt teammates to day in, day out, as it were. Ben Van Hurt trying to get past Kemi Kyle and the Dog. That's a one-two punch of time and fear right there. That was very effective at pushing Ben Van Hurt off track. Meanwhile, Rex Tangle gets through, and the jam is called. Looks like a little bit of a tangle there, forcing Dog down at corner one. Oh, looks like there's no real issue there. It's all fine. So up on the scoreline, we're looking at 34 to England and 12 to the Netherlands. England. Sorry. No, you got, please go ahead. <laughs> Lining up on the jam line, it looks as though we have three England against four Netherlands blockers. One England skater still sitting in that Rollers RB City penalty box. Uh, that'll be Spectral Operation. He was very unlucky. He came out of the penalty box and went straight back into it. As uh, Giggity Giggity takes the jammer around the inside line. In the meanwhile, number two from the Netherlands, Animal, getting fed right to the back there by England. And he picks up a penalty that a forearms penalty indicated by his jam reference gives Diggity a chance of the power jam. I uh, have it on good authority that Diggity is being basically specially trained as the power jam jammer for England. So generally when England is starting on a power jam, they've been trying to get him out there to make the most of it. He's a very strong jammer. So. As you can see there, he just nipped straight through that hot that Netherlands defense. Timber did try to stop him, but he was just too nimble. Back for Abolition there, marshalling the blockers, very smart tactical move, and go to the back of the pack there. Poor number 11, which is Monkey Chopper. He managed to burst his way through, doing what every good goat should do, and that is make their way to their teammates. Giggity giggity, extending this league with a little hop around the apex there, picking up five more points for Team England. His teammates did a really good job there of just sandwiching those Netherlands skaters into the middle so they couldn't touch Giggity at all. Well, that's it. Every jam is only as good as his blockers. Everyone needs good blockers. Looks as though number 11 there. Monkey Chopper there. Monkey Chopper, he's mm. being sent off for a cut track. Well, this is this is how the game sort of ends up. You pick up one penalty, then you pick up a second, and then the, your blockers will start running thin because you are running out of players and have to do more with less, and it just causes more and more penalties. Animal's back on track here. I believe he's still on his initial pass, I think. I believe you are correct there, Malice. Yes, I don't think he's made his initial pass yet, giving Giggity an opportunity to come round and score some more points as long as his blockers can keep that jammer in the pack. He oh. can just keep lapping and picking up five. Animal there taking a little spill and unfortunately picking up his foot that was off track, forcing him to, into a cutting position, giving up another minute of power jam here to Team England. Let's see what they do. Yeah, it's putting on ballistic whistle to take the most of this uh, minute's worth of power jam they're going to have here. Uh, Seems to me as though the Netherlands now really need to concentrate on keeping those blockers on track. I know they've given up a couple of power jams, but right now that Roller Derby City penalty box, and indeed this jam will be brought to you by the Roller Derby City Europe's largest supplier of Roller Derby kit and merch. That penalty box is seeing a lot of action so far this game. Yeah, it is indeed. Mr. Whistle getting a nice run up and going straight into the Netherlands blocker there and then dancing to the inside past the two of them. Ballistic's a very, very experienced skater, so it's going to be very hard for the Netherlands to knock this guy down. Although, having said that, number 43, Halogen, did get a good hit on Ballistic there. Ballistic, at the end of the day, every skater is a human being. You can knock a skater down. It's if you can land that hit first. And that's that's the real catch when it comes to Ballistic. He's so nimble for a big guy. And as you saw there, as he danced around, clearly the solitary blocker, but did it with ease. Halogen here has been waved back on track as the Royal Army City penalty box is full right now. Oh! You can see where he's trying to do, catch that thigh there, but Ballistic was powered through Rudy Cartel's not legs. Oh! Apex jump from the star jammer there. Ballistic Whistle showing off his skills. Absolutely, Monkey Chopper was trying to catch him on the inside, but he just couldn't as Ballistic leapt over that apex. And Rolling Stone is showing the experience he brings there from Southern Discomfort straight away, trying to get Monkey Chopper into a position where they could goat him. But 
Good chance here for Animal to try and make his way through still and keep clean as Blister Whistle picks up more points at the front of the pack. Looks as though Monkey Chopper got fed to the inside there by Rolling Stoner and Team England are dragging him right back to make him have to start his fight against their defence again. Uh, Ballistic Whistle again showing that experience doing a little bit to help his defence there as, as England have passed the three digit mark and obviously 109 points. Ballistic Whistle so far with 35 points this pass. This, this jammy. That's the 40th, or should be. Yeah, 35 yeah. points in one pass. 40 indeed. now. Yeah. <laughs> 35 points in one pass would be quite yeah, amazing. Indeed. You'd have to eat the baby many times <laughs> for that one. 40 point jam though, that's impressive for the English skater there. And the Netherlands just managed to get number 43, Halogene, out of that Rodarby City penalty box before the whistle goes. So we should actually have five on five for the next jam. Which will be a nice one there. And if any of you here in the crowd or at home have been taking photos here, you can look us up on Instagram under MRDWC. Share your photos of yourself enjoying the cup wherever you are. They may, might make it onto the screen. So if anyone in the crowd here got a photo of Ballistic in midair, that'll be quite a shot that we'd love to see. Looks like the Netherlands have taken a timeout here, which is probably a good idea. Makes them get a bit ahead, you know, gets a bit of time, get their heads together, get settled down. They, they started off strongly, but England have just turned up and yeah, really have put the hurt on. 45 points there in that jam for Blister Whistle. Yeah, I mean, we're not seeing anything we didn't expect to see here. We thought England would come out strong, that it was likely that they were going to try and put a lot of points on the board quickly. I think that the Netherlands could minimise that damage if they could just keep those blockers on the track a bit more. But well, This is this is the, the very simple thing with Royal Derby. It's, if you do the basics well, you'll do fantastic. If anyone's been watching the US, they're not doing anything amazing. They're getting a flat four wall, knocking players off track and recycling. It's as simple as that. They, they don't need to do much else. It's the skate skills that are carrying them. But if you do the simple things well, you'll be fine. If the Netherlands can get their blockers on track and in a flat four wall and holding, they'll do fine. Yeah, you've got to keep those skaters on track, definitely. That's the whole thing, really. You can't do much with, with, no, set, with no skaters on track. There's, there's very little you can do there. It's a, it's a simple numbers game at that stage. If you're one on one or, you, or one on four, you're, you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we've got the jam. Looks like there's 17 Sully here for Team England. He's helping out his defense there, doing a bit of 5D. As Sully then finds a gap and bursts through, it is your lead jammer. You've got there Ben Van Hurt of the Crash Test Grummies. He's trying to find them some way through there as Rolling Stone is standing strong with GIF supporting him. Ben Van Hurt still trying to find a gap he can exploit here, but he is facing some strong defense from Dukes. Meanwhile, Sully just runs straight up that empty inside line and gets that jammer lap point for a five-point pass. This, this is the mistake I'm seeing a lot of teams do today. They're focusing on defense when the jammer's out and scoring five points a pass. You've got to cut, you've got to get rid of the bleed. You've got to stop that. You've got to get your jammer out and force a call off. They're just letting their jammer just pick up more and more points. What, there's, there's no point defending against Sully at that stage. He's already out. Uh, that's get your jammer out now. See, yeah. as you can see here, number 42, he's doing the right thing. He needs to get his jammer out hard, but it's, it's not going well from the moment. No, absolutely. It is what they need to do. It is about mitigating the damage, yep. keeping that differential as oh, low as possible. And the Netherlands really need to get Ben Van Hurt out of that pack as quickly as they can. It's not just the Netherlands. I mean, throughout the tournament so far today, it seems to be the one common failure across the teams that are uh, really taking a beat. Is they don't, they, they still try and actively defend when the best chance they have is to get their jammer out and force a ball off. I think maybe though, uh, I don't know Malice what you think, but that's possibly just simply because in terms of these teams, a lot of them are very much still in their infancy. Very true. They're I coming agree. from leagues that haven't been around that long, so they've still got to get that experience in terms of strategy that this obviously teams mm. like England, a lot of the skaters on Team England, people very like Ballistic, was mm -hmm. very experienced and they were coaching the women's derby yeah. teams before skating in men's derby mm -hmm. themselves. So Very true. Uh, we see here Rex Tangle here, number four, picking up Lee Jammer around the inside. Meanwhile, for the Netherlands, we have Untitled Russian there trying to get through the England defence. Popped to the inside by Sutton Impact. Gets back on again, trying to get up that inside line. He finds a little space around the outside. Oh, big hit though from Chemical. Chemical, a big hitter there. And I think 
untitled yep. Russian, yet he did actually cut Sutton Impact on that inside line on the other side of the track. There is very true. Uh, it's, it's fair to say Team Nuns have been together for about a year. So this is always, it's understandable. This is a, the second or third game they played together as well. They played Battle of the Beasts and Kings of the North. Battle, Battle of the Beasts 2. Battle of the Beasts 2. And 3. All together. Okay, here. Now we see the pack moving a little faster than you normally expect it to do when you've got a power jam. Here's Rex Tangle. Oh, a little spin from the inside to the out. Finds an owl oh, bean dip around the outside. Uh, again, the experience of Rex Tangle there showing off thumbs up to his bench manager to say he's received instructions there. Okay, so um, whilst we're going through this jam and Rex Tangle's putting those points on the board, let me tell you about Fast Girl Skates. Fast Girl Skates, their knowledgeable staff represents all facets of roller derby. WFTDA, USARS, MRDA, JRDA and Banked. They can relate and have what you need. Larger selection on skates and gear for everyone, women, men, juniors. It's about you. And as it's about you, we've got the untitled Russian back on track here with a chance to make it through the pack. Now they're really struggling with the strong defense that the English are putting up here. Uh, being that you, know, you can see here's a great teamwork between the English blockers and the country Absolutely. really struggling here. A nice friendly pat on the shoulder there from Sutton to uh, the to Untitled Russian to say well done. Um, it's great to see that the men's sport still has that camaraderie that's just so prevalent in roller derby. It's really good to see them all supporting each other, even though they're trying to put up points against each other on track. And just to let you know here, we have 2,300 plus viewers currently on this track for you, all watching this game go down live. Uh, we've got here, as looks apparently, yeah, England have posted more points by the halfway mark than the USA did earlier today. But the Netherlands have gone for a star pass oh. to try and get Kirk Ramit through from the back. The jammer passed over the wall to Kirk Ramit to try and get their jammer out and put pressure on Team England. It was a gambit there. It's not really paid off as he's run straight into reanimated GIF, Rolling Stoner. And I believe Illbilly, who one at a time each had a go at blocking down and Jerry Atrix in there slowing him down. I mean, it's, it's a smart trick to try and play, or gambit as you call it, a risky one though, because you lose the job opportunity for lead and... You do lose the opportunity for lead, but I think that actually, tactically for the Netherlands, it made sense to try and do that. If they could get the star pass successful and get a jammer out straight behind the England jammer, yep. then they would be forcing the call. So That's they're true. trying to reduce the points that they're hemorrhaging. It seems mm. like a smart play to me. Does indeed. Yeah, they that's, if you don't want to get penalties, that's the safe zone you want to be in. Oh, yes. Still a good effort from Kirk Ramit there. Um, we're looking at a scoreline of 214 to England and 12 points for the Netherlands. Seems like we've had quite a few jams now where the Netherlands haven't managed to put any points on the board, unfortunately. This is, I mean, the England defence is really trying to make a statement here. You can say they're saying, we're not going to give up any more points. We've given up enough points so far. Though. Oh, Ballistic Whistle tried to dance through on the inside of his toe stops and just lost his footing. Went off track, recovered, and still got lead jammer, though. As you see here, Ben Van Hurt still struggling in the back of the pack behind Sutton Impact. Oh, he's burst through, though. <laughs> Found that little bit of space he needed and bowled his way through. Absolutely, yes. So, Ballistic gets through, hits and it and quits it for a four points. Again, it's, it's the, the experience factor there. Ballistic straight away out of the pack, head up, saw where Ben Van Hurt was and pulled it quickly. Although I'd like to see a bigger call from the jammer there. A lot of this little fingery hip tappiness. You know, the referees aren't always looking at you. I mean, that stuff really big. Yeah, it's up. Talking about really big, just to remind you here, uh, we would really appreciate any broadcast donation you could hand in. There is a link at the top of the broadcast page. Any donations you give will be split 50-50 between ourselves, for all, uh, the organizers, and Team Travel Fund. If you're enjoying listening, drop us a few quids, dollars, whatever it is you spend your money on, and there's a link at the top of the page. As there we go, number 17, Sully is out of the pack and is your lead jammer. And we see another star pass from the Netherlands giving the star to 666 nocturnal damage there. Yeah, I think the Netherlands now are just basically trying to try anyone they can, see if anyone can break through this wall. Ben Van Hurt, I think, has been the most successful so far. I agree. But you can't just put one man on over and over again. No, and I think that's the thing. I think that because their jammers are having to work so hard against that strong defensive Team England, they're just starting to get 
get tired. Yes. So. Yeah, with a tournament like this, cardio is always going to be a questionable thing, especially later on in the day. It's not just the actual work you're doing on track, it's the, the drop after the bout. That's the bit that really messes you up quite a bit, and then the, just the general excitement throughout the day drains you quite a lot as well. Netherlands haven't quite run out of energy yet, though, as on that last pass. There was a fantastic takeout to the outside on Sully, but this pass he just skips through to pick up another five points. A uh, big barreling assist there from the England blockers, and Sully still had to bully his way through one blocker there as Rip Snorter tried to slow down the England jammer, but was unsuccessful in this game. Yeah, unfortunately, the, it, we are currently running a power jam for England with the jammer. Number 666 Nocturnal Damage, who had taken that star pass, mm -hmm. did go to the penalty box. He is standing now, though, as uh, Sully pulls through for another five points. That's 30 points so far this jam. Rip Snorter, I believe, again, still on his initial pass, so he'll have to go through us. So Sully can still pick up more points here as Reanimated gives tries to make some space for his jammer. Interestingly, Ooh. I thought the Team England bench coach might tell them to call it so they could have a power start, but it appears they've decided that no, they don't need that. They just want to keep wrapping up the points. Well, with blockers like this, you don't need it, really. No, I mean, like true. Every time they're trying to get them. This is, that's a lovely display there from Team England. Straight away, patting the jammer on the back, saying, well done, mate. And you've got to love that. Anyone who you'll, you'll spend two minutes and to be polite, abusing some <laughs> poor jammer and making him work for every inch and then I end up going, good job mate, you did your team proud. Absolutely, yeah, it is. And uh, I think that that's just generally the spirit of the Men's Roller Derby World Cup and the Men's Roller Derby Association, who would like to wish all the teams competing in the Men's Roller Derby World Cup the best of luck this weekend. The MRDA is the international governing body for Men's Flat Track Roller Derby and they want you to join them in the growing sport of Men's Roller Derby. For more information about joining and the benefits of being part of the MRDA, visit them at mensrollerderbyassociation.com or send inquiries to info at mensrollerderbyassociation.com. Uh, here we see Johnny Giroud here uh, trying to get through on the jam. He's pushing hard against Chemical and Spectral Aberration. He's getting nothing as little, little rectangle that has a little bit of a hop over the apex and picks up five more points for Team England. It's almost a foregun conclusion here that the Team England jammers will be in lead and will have points. I want to just accept that I'm going to be focused on the pack here because that's where the action is right now as we watch Johnny Giroud again try and get through that pass. Those strong England blockers really put in the hurting on him again. Definitely, and I think that pretty much they are just leaving their jammers to it, really, allowing them to use their agility to hop, skip, and, and there jump. he goes, Johnny B. Root just, oh, oh, almost made it. He's fallen down, though, and skidded on track, so he's smartly crawled mm. off track. Oh, what? That was an odd one from 747 there, hip-checking backwards uh, as Rex Tangles continues scoring more and more points. Johnny B. Rude have made it almost all the way out of the pack and he's been recycled all the way to the back there. And lucky for the corner. He, he tries to make pass giggity giggity. Just stays inbound. Oh, uh, goes off. He did just that right skate, just oh. went out of bounds and he could not risk getting that cut and giving a power jam away, so he decided to play it safe. Well, the skater who actually knocked him down ended up at the back of the pack and had to go to the penalty box anyway. But he'd already been recycled, so it was too late to take any benefit. I do actually think the Netherlands have been using quite a good strategy there. Basically, their jammer was using the goat that had been goated by Team England as his battering ram to yep. try and get through their defence. And that was a nice little bit of strategy there, um, a way to try and get that jammer through. But unfortunately, still didn't get him out of the pack and Team England racking up the point on that jam. Okay, this next jam is brought to you by GB EMS, uh, providers of the event medical cover and ambulance transport across the UK. GB EMS are sponsoring the pivot line today, which is seeing next to no activity <laughs> at the start of the game. No, no, I've seen very little action generally across <laughs> this day so far on that I pivot think I've line. Seen, I've seen nothing once. Someone I've went to the pivot one. line and then thought, no, I don't want to be here and went back again. <laughs> Okay, here we have Ballistic Whistle trying to bully his way through on the inside. He takes a big spill to the inside there from Tim Burr. Oh, oh and I a cut track. I actually think no, it's a sorry, four No, arms. it is a four. I'm sorry. Yeah. You are right. I <laughs> could not see. I saw the arms going together. I assumed it was a cut. Ben Van Hur here with a chance to put some points on the board for the Netherlands. As they actually pick up lead jammer status now, how are they going to play this? That's the question. Well, he's past Rolling Stone, so that's two points there straight away. Is there only three on the track? He's just going to get past Geriatric and Ziff here for all the points. Netherlands 
clock that the that Jerry actually is trying to drag about. That's five in the sky there for Ben Van Hurt. Fantastic bit of footwork there from Ben Van Hurt, actually getting through and scoring those points. Ben Van Hurt now got a fall in front of him. The Dutch skaters here slowing down, forcing, trying, to, trying to force a no-pack. Ben Van Hurt's past three, and he's really having a fight to get past the next blockers here. I believe that's reanimated GIF, a strong physical blocker. He's Although really the Netherlands are doing a good job of making sure they're walled up behind England so that they can't drop back and force Indeed. that jammer back. They're doing everything they can here as Ben Van Hurt's just trying to pass Rolling Stone, whose lovely little hip check to the outside pushes Ben Van Hurt off track. Yeah, but Rolling Stone is still stopped in his tracks, but then gets Sue on the inside to try and force the cart. And Ben Van Hurt realised he's just completely cut Rolling Stone. Jumped yeah. in front of the wrong skater there. Rolling Stoner did just roll back on the inside so that... Rolling Stoner, again, a massively experienced skater. Yeah. Definitely former captain of Southern Stone, definitely still captain at the moment. But he knows exactly what he's doing. Fantastic skater as well. So now we have Ballistic Whistle. He's back in here for Team England. Gets through, gets past number 666 Nocturnal Damage, trying for a backwards block there, but failing to put the brakes on Ballistic, who puts another five points on the board. Ooh, maybe some more. He came in from, he saw the penalty in the uh, full minute in the box and may have put down, I think, let's see the hands. Two more, so I think 12 points that jam. Was that 13? 13, yeah, 13 points in a jam where he saw the minute in the box. It's impressive there for the England jammer. Ballist England, Ballistic's sorry. definitely um, very, very fast on those skates, but like we say, he does have a lot of experience, so it's kind of to be expected, really, that he is going to wrap up those points on the board. Yeah, very experienced skater indeed. And talking about experience, there's Grim Monster, Grim Monster Roller Sports, all new. Visit us today at G-R-N-M-N-S-T-R, GrimMonster.com. I know exactly what they're talking about out there. Now you see here number 17, Sully jamming for England on a power jam with a chance to put England above 300 points. Oh! oh! Spill for Sully at corner one. Tried to dance around but just couldn't keep his balance. Yeah, I feel like Halaji just clipped him on the outside there, but unfortunately um, Sully still still managed to get through. As and rolling reckless, sorry. Oh, was it? Oh, apologies. No, sorry, rolling reckless, they're picking up a penalty as England have reached uh, the 300 okay. point mark. Five more points there for the England jammer. I think England may be able to outscore USA here. Um, looking at the scoreline earlier for the USA, it was 314 points USA to Finland zero. So Maybe not the differential, but the actual score posted yeah. would be quite interesting. Uh, and uh, Nikki says the best part of the hashtag MRDWC, sorry, MRDWC, charming announcer accent. Aww. We, 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 Thank you, Nikki. Here we go, here with Jam Rex Tangle at the back of the pack here to pick up some points. Number 585, Johnny B. Rude. I think that's the first time we've seen him wear the star. The no, Netherlands. no, it's the uh, second or third. Uh, I think second he, or third. Second, I think he picked up a star pass and he started one. And he, uh, he nearly got out of the pack and he got cut down. But he's uh, off to the bin there for he a is cut there, track. Off to the Roller Derby City penalty box. Here at the. Uh, Quad skate shop track, rectangle here. Next move, well, last move, next pass here if he gets all five points, which he does. Puts them on a higher score than the USA posted against Finland. Uh, let's see here. If they score another 21 points, that's a higher differential. A minute and 30, I wouldn't put it past rectangle to be able to get that many points. That's five of them. Slowing down is the wily English skater there as he finds a little space around the outside. Steps then, there's no one there at all. Couple more blockers coming back onto the track now just to bolster those numbers a bit in the pack. They've really struggled, even with full set of four, so I don't think they're going to be able to hold it back. One more pass will put them on a same differential of 314. So if he gets two more passes, or at least of any number of points on, there's Oh, fantastic blocking by Team England. Just grouped up all the Netherlands skaters on the outside and stopped them from being able to do anything at all. And that puts England on 336, which now makes this differential the same as the Finland-USA game. And I believe he's passed at least one skater legally there, so this may be a bigger differential now being posted by Team England. Let's wait for the jam ref to indicate the score. And he, there's five more in the sky. That's five bigger than the USA's differential. That's a 
impressive showing here from Team England, making a statement that anything you can do, we can do better. <laughs> I think the way that the bracket would work is the only way USA and England could meet would be the final. That would be a very interesting game. Sutton Impact on his way to the Royal Derby City box. Uh, Rex Tangle narrowly avoiding a cut on the inside there. But. Rex Tangle, I believe, really been struggling with some cuts recently. He's, he seems to be caught out quite a lot. So I think that might be something to focus on. There's the whistle, and looks like the score from was is England 345 to the Netherlands 22. That's England 345 to the Netherlands 22. Uh, let's wait for that to be the official score before we all start cheering that one out, though. <laughs> Yeah, just waiting there for it to come up on the board so we can confirm to you that is the final score. But as we said earlier, that does really make a statement. Team England are saying... Anything you can do, yeah. we can do better. We, we can put those points up too, boys. So. Uh. Oh, yeah, this is uh, this has been a very interesting... Over on the Royal Derby City track, uh, coming up, we have Team Japan versus Team Canada. Team Japan, firmly crowd favourites over here. Uh, we're all big fans of Team Japan. They were getting some big cheers from the, uh, the international crowd here today. It's nice to see everyone coming up from all, all of the Southeast Asia and South America. We've got the Argentinians here. And we've got the Australians from far, far reaches. But lovely, a lovely World Cup element. Just confirming, yep, those are your final scores. 3, 4, 5 to 22. Uh, I've been Captain Malice here with yours truly. And... And it looks like we're done on this track. So if you want to... Trip over to the Royal W C track. We will watch Team Canada versus Team Japan. Again, yeah. once more, I've been Captain Allison. I've been yours truly. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.